When organizations wanted to have more bandwidth than dial-up modems could provide, Integrated Services Digital Network, or ISDN for short, was the answer, since cable modems and digital subscriber lines were not available yet. There were two core options for ISDN. The first was Basic Rate Interface, or BRI for short. BRI had two channels that could be bonded together for a maximum of 128 kilobits per second. The other option was Primary Rate Interface, or PRI. PRI had 23 channels in the US and 30 channels in other areas of the world that had ISDN, like Europe and Australia. If those channels were bonded together, they could go for a maximum of 1.55 megabits per second in the US, which is equivalent to a full T1 line, as well as 2 megabits per second in the rest of the world, which is equivalent to a full E1. ISDN has virtually been decommissioned, but some legacy applications and some organizations will keep it alive for years to come.